So make sure you guys check out lovelytea.net or amazon.com forward slash shops forward slash lovely tea for all your tea sipping needs. Thank you guys so much for the support and stay tuned for the all video. All right, y'all. I hope you guys are doing good today. So I want to come on here and talk about the whole free little taste situation. A lot of y'all been in my DMs. Time my Tay done got kidnapped. You got to make a video. We got a free little Tay. Her father done kidnapped. Just all this dumb shit, okay? I am here to say no. Do not free little Tay, okay? Little Tay is in good hands. I'm going to show you why, okay? Now, for y'all who don't know, little Tay, I did some videos about her. She was a little nine-year-old white and Asian girl. Her name was little Tay, and she called herself the youngest flexor of the century. And she got on my damn nerves. She was going all over Instagram, wilding out, and, you know, kicking cars, and hanging with Chief Keef, and all these rappers. You know, all these Chicago rappers were co-signing her fuckery. Y'all go ahead and check out some of these videos of little Tay. Check this out. Lil Tay out here balling in the IA. I dropped 200 racks on this car, and I'm only nine years old. I got the keys to this car. Anyway, so y'all just saw those videos of Little Tay wilding out. Then it came out that her mother was behind all this foolishness. There were even videos where you would see her mother and her brother. They're like in the background recording her, telling her what to say, things like that. Her mother was a realtor and her boss that she was working for was the one living this lifestyle, was the one living lavish. It was his home that the mother was putting little Tay in and, and having her say certain things in homes that they were staging to be sold. Um, it was also his car that little Tay was flexing in and driving. I mean, it was just a bunch of mess going on. So then mysteriously, in June, all of a sudden, little Tay's Instagram account went completely silent. All of her videos, everything was deleted. And a lot of folks been like, you know, where's little Tay? What's going on with her? Nobody has seen her. Then recently, just about two, three days ago, um, somebody who was supposedly a family friend or somebody who's supposedly responsible or helped Tay in the past with some type of, you know, personal assistant um, is spilling all the tea on little Tay's dad. And they're basically saying that little Tay um, is now with the father. And to me, it's very obvious that the mother... Okay, who wasn't much of a mother, um, lost custody of little Tay, and little Tay is now living with her father. This is what this person shared on Instagram. I'm gonna go ahead and read this to y'all real quick. So the person running Tay's account, they say this. Let me reveal the truth that men's of people have been asking for months. This was the last time little Tay was happy, two hours before Christopher John Hope, her abusive absentee father, I will go into details in the next post, who hasn't been in her life for years, handed her a court order forcing her 
her to go to his home in Canada, in which she was constantly abused by Hope and his wife. He banned her off of social media because he was afraid she was going to expose the truth to the world, the truth of what he has done and hasn't been punished for. For the past few months, he's been trying to destroy Tay and her mother's life for his own financial gain. I am someone who previously worked with Tay and have seen everything unfold since the beginning. I will not stay silent about this any longer. Christopher John Hope is trying to grab at her fame, money, and ultimately take Tay away from her mother, who has loved and cared for Tay all her life. Something Christopher John Hope has never done. Hashtag free little Tay. Then they go on to say part two. The court order that was issued required Little Tay to be at Christopher John Hope's residence by 4 p.m. on June 3rd. Tay and Angela were forced to rush to his home or else he would have Tay's mother arrested. This was Tay's first encounter with Christopher John Hope in a very long time. It was very difficult for her to stand face to face with the person that abused her for many years, but she had no choice. This horrible man threatened Tay's mom to have her arrested and sued and have Tay placed in foster care if she did not obey the court order. But where was he before Tay was famous? Hashtag free little Tay. Honey. All right, so you guys just heard what that person said. So now this is what bothers me about the whole situation because I see a lot of people are getting invested in the story and mainly young people because, again, Tay, um, her whole persona was geared towards young kids. So all these folks are upset. They're saying that little Tay was kidnapped by her father. He's an abuser and all this other shit, okay? Now, what's funny is that this person did not start posting this until the father got custody of Tay. What truth was little Tay trying to put out there? The only thing that little Tay was posting on her Instagram page for months was the fact that she was the youngest flexor of the century and her mother co-signed the fuckery. How would you respond to critics who would say, oh, you're just going to try to profit off your daughter now. No one's forcing me to do this. That's not true that she wants to make money off of me. And what about those homes she claims to own? GMA talked to mom Angie's former boss at a Vancouver real estate firm who told us little Tay filmed using his car and some of his properties for sale, all without his approval. I didn't shoot in anyone else's house. You didn't shoot in anyone else's house? Just like... No one has proof that I did. And who's behind the shocking content on Lil Tay's social media accounts? My mom doesn't run social media. I use my own Instagram. These images will live on and follow you for the rest of your life. Is a nine-year-old really capable of making this kind of decision? This is my decision. I'm happy with She is a well-mannered and a great kid. But that's not what comes across on the internet. People think it's like... Funny, I guess, because I'm nine years old and I've accomplished so much. I'm glad that the court system got involved and got little Tay out the house. The problem is now the money bag has stopped. OK, and the mother is upset. I don't believe this is a friend or a personal assistant writing this shit. I believe the person behind all of these Instagram posts is none other than little Tay's mother. OK, little Tay was in an abusive situation, but not by the hands of her father, who the court deemed fit for little Tay to go live with. But the abuse was being placed upon her by her mother and her little brother, okay? And the reason why I know that, not just my intuition, but the fact that Wo Vicky basically busted them all out back in June. Wo Vicky came out and spoke and stood up for little Tay and called out little Tay's brother and also called out the mother. How they would make her say all types of ratchet stuff and how they would make her do things until she would cry. You know, like if she wasn't flexing hard enough, her brother would go off on her because he himself wants to be the next rice gum and he thought that he could get famous by pimping out his little sister. The mother saw endorsement deals coming to little Tay via Instagram so she had no problem with how her children were getting money, okay? And if you're not going to be a parent, eventually the law will step in and they will find a fitting home for your children, okay? And this is what happened. And right now, little Tay's mom is salty. So she's trying to concoct all this bullshit and act like little Tay's in danger 
because she wants her daughter back with her so she can continue milking the whole little Tay persona. Let me go ahead and refresh y'all's memory and play out what well, Vicky had to say a few months ago when concerning the disappearance of little Tay off of social media. Y'all go ahead and check this out. Let me tell you, little Tay is a little girl, a little 10 year old girl who came from Canada, Vancouver, who plays ballet. You know what I'm saying? She don't know nothing about no rappers. She don't know nothing about flexing. It's it's her brother that runs her account. It's her brother that tells her what to do. And it's her brother in her ear. Like her brother does all the captions. Y'all think y'all DM Lil Tay? No, y'all DM her brother Jason. And like it's just her brother in her ear telling her what to do. Like he makes her cry. Like we went to a Chief Keep concert and she did really good. And afterwards he started yelling at her. It was like, why'd you do that? You did it wrong. Da -da 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 -da. And then she started crying because like she's 10 years old. She doesn't know how to handle all that. All right, so you guys just saw what Woe Vicky had to say. And y'all know I'm not no fan of Woe Vicky like that. But in this video, that's probably like the most likable and honest and open that Woe Vicky has ever come off to me. That was the real Vicky. That ghetto, ratchet, you know, wannabe wigger persona that she tries to perpetuate, that's not the real her. That's just a bullshit-ass character. That was the real Vicky. That was the real Vicky doing the right thing and standing up for this young girl, okay? Another thing that really has me pissed off about this whole situation, it's one thing if you want to drag the father and you want to sit here and, you know, start this little hashtag free Tay and say all this slanderous bullshit about the father because you're in your feelings. What you're not going to do, little Tay's mom who's behind that account nine times out of ten, is sit there and drag a dead young black man into y'all's fuckery, okay? Now she's trying to garner more sympathy by saying that little Tay could have potentially saved X X, 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 Tanshian from death because Little Tay was supposed to go do a charity event with XXX. As we all know, before he got killed, he was going to do a big charity event in Florida. He had reached out to several people on social media, and I guess Little Tay being one of them. So they went ahead and they shared these DMs between XXX and Little Tay. And so she agreed to go. The father, being a father, basically said no. You're not going down to Florida. You're not doing a charity event with some random rapper, you know what I'm saying, that I don't know. Because again, people are forgetting this little girl is nine or 10 years old. It's not like she's 17. She's a child. So you, my kids ask to do shit all the time and I tell them no. No is no. Who gives a damn if the father won't let her go down there and go do a charity event with, with XXX? That's his right as a father. Just because a nine-year-old wants to do something doesn't mean that she has the right to go do it. If he says no, then it's no. Fuck all y'all and y'all's feelings because the father wouldn't let her go do a charity event with X. Who gives a damn? And this person is only writing this and putting all this out there in hopes of trying to garner sympathy and that's not okay. Little Tay couldn't have saved that man. These boys killed that man in that motorcycle shop because it was his time to go. So now to try and say that little Tay's father is somehow the cause or the reason that XXX was killed and somehow if little Tay was allowed to fly down there and go do this and go do this charity event that XXX would have picked her up from the airport meaning that he wouldn't have ended up at the motorcycle shop he wouldn't have, you know ran across those guys and he wouldn't have been killed that is so disrespectful to his memory that is so disrespectful to his mother that is so disrespectful to his unborn child at the end of the day this was God's plan it was meant for him to, you know, leave this earth, you know what I mean? And for them to try and sit there and attach little Tay to this and try and use that to garner sympathy and try and use that to garner hate against this man who's trying to be a father, I think is bullshit and people need to wake up. I was so pissed when I saw that post. Like, how dare you? How dare you try and even attach this child to this young man's death and say that somehow this child could have stopped the events that happened to XXX? They're basically disrespecting this young man's memory. 
You know, this entire situation is just straight foolish to me. This is nothing more than a money grab. This is a business venture to this woman and her little brother. So much so that designer even busted them out. Okay, they try to DM designer, uh, the rapper, and basically say, you know, can you start the hashtag? Can you join in the hashtag free little Tay? And designer was like, fuck no. I'm not joining in shit. Because remember when I reached out to you to do some, I don't know, collaboration. I don't know what the hell he wanted to do with this nine-year-old girl. If it was music or, you know, just show up in the video like they were doing with Chief Keef. I don't know. But he said that he had reached out to them to do some type of, you know, venture. And the person who's running Little Tay's account who for the most part is her brother, because well, Vicky said so, basically told designer, if you want to do something with Little Tay, it's going to cost you five grand, okay? So this was a money-making venture for them. And had designer paid the money, they'd have been $5,000 richer. Trust me, a lot of people were paying this little girl money because of her persona. She got verified on Instagram. A lot of people were following her. She had eyeballs on her account. So people were willing to drop their money for endorsements and designer caught this out. I want you guys to go ahead and watch this video that designer posted the other day and also the DM that he showed as well. Check this out. Man, for all y'all upcoming people, man, you know what I'm saying? Remember, man, the game is like this. One hand wash the other. If you don't help me, I don't help you. So if you see how that goes, I know you're a little girl, but this is how the game goes. Always help. All right, so you guys just saw what designer had to say. Designer's not here for the foolishness or the fuck shit, okay? And it also sounds like he has some new music in the works as well, okay? So, you know, it's about time, designer. We haven't heard nothing from you in a long damn time. With that being said, I'm not falling for this free little Tay hashtag. That is nobody else behind that hashtag, behind that Instagram account besides her mother. The gravy train has stopped. Okay, the mother looks like a damn fool. Everybody done seen the mother on national television. It's probably hard for her to get a real job because people are looking at her as a shitty mother. So now what's the best way to try and change perception? Act like your daughter was kidnapped and taken away by this big bad absentee father. You know what I mean? And, and, and his scamming wife and all the bullshit that she's saying. Where was all of this when you had custody of Tay and you were making money off of Tay? Why weren't y'all speaking about this absentee abusive father way back then? Why is this not being brought up now that you lost custody of this little girl and the father's doing the right thing? He's doing what he's supposed to do as a father. A nine-year-old does not belong on Instagram flexing and saying that she's going to be the biggest flexor of the century, okay? A nine-year-old needs to enjoy being a nine-year-old child, needs to enjoy school and their friends and, and living life. She has her whole world to be an adult and be a flexor and do all that fuck shit when she turns 18, but at nine and 10 years old, her father is doing the right thing by keeping her off of social media, keeping her head in them damn books, and staying on top of her and not allowing her to fly all over the country behind grown-ass black male rappers. I mean, this mother had no damn shame. Had something happened to her daughter, had her daughter been abused or beat up or molested, the mother would never be able to forgive herself. But to her, it was worth it to let little Tay, you know, do all this fuck shit because there was money in it for her and her brother and everything else. These two people are simply using this little girl. That little girl was simply a vessel for the brother and for the mother to make money off of her. You know, and I'm glad that the father has stepped in. I'm glad that the courts did the right thing and they granted the father custody of his child. So I don't feel bad for this woman. Hell nah. Do not free little Tay. Keep little Tay right where she's at with her father in a stable environment, not being abused, not being told what to say on social media, not being force fed words and everything else. The, her father's allowing her to be a child. Anyways, this story just got me hot. Let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation concerning this whole free little Tay hashtag. Who do you guys think is behind posting all the bullshit they're posting on little Tay's Instagram? Do you agree with me that nine times out of ten it's the mother behind it and the mother's just trying to make herself look good and trying to, you know, create all of this so that way she can get custody back of little Tay so she can continue pimping her? And then how do you guys feel about them trying to attach Tay to the XXX extension situation by basically saying that, you know, it's little Tay's father's fault for not allowing her to do the charity and has she been allowed to do the charity XXX would still be here and then last but not least how do you guys feel about what well, Vicky had to say months ago and then also what designer had to say about the situation as well so let's go ahead and get the discussion popping go ahead and leave a comment all right deuces
Hey, you guys, it's your girl T, and I hope you really enjoyed that video. If you want to know more about my look of the day or if you want a way to contact me concerning advertisement and sponsorship deals, definitely feel free to click my description box. There's plenty of information in there. Please stay tuned for the next video. Talk to y'all later.